I'm going to be using the Morphe 35 Old palette and I'm taking this really light shade and this Sonia Keshek blending brush and I'm just going to be blending this as my transition color. I'm now taking a shade that's right under it and it has a little bit more of an orange tone and I really like that because I want that to be kind of a transition color. So I'm just applying that right over and I'm using the same blush so that the colors kind of create a harmony. Now I'm going to be using this Elf's and Launch Pot and it's in brownie points and I'm going to be applying this on the lid and I'm using a flat brush from Morphe and the reason I'm using this even though it's a shimmer um, is because I'm going to be applying a matte shadow over it so it'll create a mattifying eye and then I also like the formula of this. Then I'm going to be going to the color right next to it and it's a little bit darker and I'm going to just use the same brush, the same fat brush and I'm going to be patting this all over the lid and a little bit higher to the crease as well to help it blend. Now I'm going to be adding more colors as, um, as the look continues so it just depends however dark you want your smoky eye. Now I'm using the same uh, blending brush that I was initially using just to blend everything together. Now I'm going into a darker shade here and it has more of a red tone and I'm going to be applying this the same way on top and I'm just going to be patting it over that color and a little bit higher to the crease and then I'm going to be using a 217 brush from MAC with that same color and just blending it a little bit more into the crease so it's a little bit more defined and again using that, that same blending brush to blend everything together. Now I'm going into the darker colors here. And I'm going to be using this same flat brush because I want the colors to kind of go together and feel like they belong together. So I'm tapping this and I'm getting, I'm doing the same thing. And then taking the 217 to blend those two colors together as you can see. Now I'm going into a darker shade. And I'm going to be applying this all over the top as well. And the reason that I stack the colors is just because I feel like it looks a lot more natural. Not natural, but the colors look, they flow more, um, they flow together nicely. And I'm just creating a really defined crease. And you can also bring that to the lower lash line. And it just depends how dark you want the lower lash line or the under the eye. So it's really up to you. And then once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and use a regular blending brush and just blend everything together. And I'm being really quick and messy with it because that's kind of the look that I want. So if you really want to perfect it, then just go ahead and take your time for that. Okay, now I'm using this NYX uh, pencil and I'm going to be using that on the waterline. And then after that, I cleaned under my eyes because for foundation. Now I'm using the 209, 203 Double Up from Ardell and I'm going to be stacking these. They are a bit dramatic, but I did kind of like how they looked with the look. Then I'm just using Melon Pigment to highlight. And I'm going to be using that same pencil that I used on the waterline for lip liner. And I'm just going to be applying this all over my lips. Now I like from Lonely Planet and it's called Star and I'm just gonna be applying that right over and it's a nice liquid formula. You can use any brown color that you like for a monochromatic look. Then I just like that the look was a little dirty so I just Worst of my brows in the front to make them look a little bit more bushy and I'm using the Anastasia brush to do that and That completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video Thumbs up if you like it and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye